So while there has been endless excitement for the next part of Denis Villeneuve's adaptation of Dune, like the delays we had for the first film, part two has also been met with one. The actor's strike in particular is what has led to the recent delay of the film, as the cast are unable to promote it, and now marketing has to adapt to the current release date of March the 15th, 2024. With this in mind, what can we expect from the altered marketing campaign, and when and and what could we see in the next full-length trailer for the film? Well, I think I have some good predictions, and in this video, I'm going to be diving into all of it. Before I get into it though, if you want to keep up to date on any of my upcoming content surrounding Dune Part 2 and beyond, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. But without further ado, let's dive into my predictions predictions for the new Dune Part 2 trailer release day and the upcoming marketing campaign. So a few years ago, we had multiple delays for the first Dune film, and that was in reaction to everything going on with COVID at that time. Eventually, we got many trailers and the cast were able to promote the film, and regardless of it eventually releasing day and day on HBO Max, it still became a success, making over $400 million worldwide. Now, however, with Dune Part 2, we've got a different set of issues, as the film has received its its delay because of the recent SAG AFRA strikes. Part 2 became the first major casualty of the unprecedented Hollywood strikes, and according to SAG and the WGA, WB, other studios, and TV producers have repeatedly failed to bring negotiation offers to the guilds since their labour actions began this past summer. And with Warner Brothers concerns that June Part 2's box office could be affected by being unable to have its stars promote the film, they chose to push it back to March of 2024. In recent weeks, SAG had a meeting with the AMPTP and they couldn't agree on any of the major terms that were put their way, which means that when it comes to the Actors Guild, there is still no negotiation. The writers, on the other hand, had a respectable deal and it means that we can only hope that everything surrounding the Actors' Strike is sorted out soon as well. But yes, with recent tension and no deal being made, it does make it worrying, not just for those striking in the industry, but also for the films that are scheduled to release or have new release dates. Dune Part 2 is one of them, and like mentioned before, the actors are a big part of its marketing and promotion strategies. The first film really built its excitement following its debut at the Venice Film Festival, where the cast would do much promotion for the film, and the reactions to the movie were sky high across the board. It looks like they are not going to have that kind of marketing approach with Dune Part 2, but the ability for the extended cast to promote the film in many interviews or at a premiere will definitely raise more awareness. Warner Brothers knows this because they wouldn't have delayed the film if this wasn't an issue. And in fact, it was estimated that the film could lose up to 15% of its box office without the actors being able to promote it. So now understanding the issue that stands in the way of Dune Part 2 releasing in the months ahead, if things do get resolved between the actors and the AMPTP, what could we expect from the marketing for Dune Part 2 leading up to March of next year? Well, starting with the trailers, this may actually be quite a difficult part of the marketing campaign now that the film has a delay and also with the fact that we've already seen quite a bit of footage in the previous two trailers released for it. There is around five months until the film comes out and in that time frame, we typically get two trailers come out, one around three months before and then a second closer to the actual date of the film. So as a whole, they're going to to have to put together possibly two more trailers and work around not showing too much of the film. Of course, when it comes to book readers like a lot of us here, we understand the events of Dune and spoilers aren't as worrying as they are to those who haven't read the material. So when it comes to what we'll see, I think there will likely be a focus on what we've already seen, but extended clips of that. For instance, the big focus of part two is the film being more of a war movie that showcases 
battles and the extended cast in action. We've definitely seen that in the first two trailers already, so I can see that being a continuing focus in the footage yet to release. So don't expect there to be huge reveals like Aaliyah Atreides or loads more of Christopher Walken's Emperor or lengthy sequences with Austin Butler's Fade Rawther. A lot of that will probably be similar to what we've already seen, but just small extensions of them in the new footage. Regardless, they'll have to sell off the new release date in more trailers to come and really double down on the scale of the film to really promote it well in light of that previous delay. So with me predicting that there will be two more trailers for Dune Part 2, when do I think we will see the next one? Well, I think it's quite obvious when it comes to a date because Warner Brothers have two more huge releases coming out around the same time this December. On December 15th of this year, Warner Brothers are releasing Wonka and on December 20th, just five days later, they are also putting out Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. That is around the three month mark before Dune Part 2 releases, so it looks like an ideal spot to put out that next trailer in time for the new year and in front of films they have a decent amount of anticipation for. There's nothing really coming out before or after on Warner Brothers schedule that has as much popularity as those two films, so I think it's pretty likely that we'll get the next full-length Dune Part 2 trailer around that date. After Aquaman 2 and Wonka, they can then fully promote the film and build up to March with much more promotion. But again, this is all down to whether the actor's strike is resolved or not, because if we get to January and there's still no deal between them, things will become tense surrounding the movie releasing on its new date. I think it will be resolved because both sides can't afford to lose that much money and also if you keep moving June that creates even more financial problems and uncertainty within the attracted audience. When it comes to the rest of the marketing campaign, of course having your cast to promote the film is going to open up possibilities of how you can really create added excitement. A big part of part 1's attraction was having cast members go on late night talk shows to talk about the film or show unreleased scenes from it. This is something they'll want to do again and if the remaining two trailers only show extended clips of footage we've already seen, new scenes shown on TV or on talk shows could help create more buzz, especially when you have loads of big names in the Dune Part 2 cast that immediately create more attention. So I think they'll go this route again and show off maybe a few scenes from the movie, whether it be the build up to Paul riding a sandworm, small clips of the battle between the Fremen, the Harkonnens and the Sardaukar, Fade Rawtha in the Gady Prime fighting pits, or more intimate moments between characters like Paul and Charney. I think we can also expect a lot of featurettes, whether it be with the cast or director Denis Villeneuve, which again was something seen multiple times in the build up to part 1. As you can tell, trailers, featurettes, footage and interviews on talk shows are important in the marketing and without the cast you can't do a good chunk of it. Yes, part 2 is riding the success of part 1 and without a pandemic, we expect it to do much better at the box office and really ride the wave of success. But losing around 15% of your box office because you can't properly market it is a big loss in potential profits, so the changed release date is understandable. However, one thing I will say is worrying about the March release date is that now Dune Part 2 has to go up against four or five films that could damage its box office further. Releasing two weeks before Dune Part 2 is Disney Pixar's Elio, releasing one week before is Kung Fu Panda 4 and A Quiet Place Day 1 and releasing in the weeks after is the Snow White movie and Ghostbusters Afterlife 2. Being in that congested period of film releases is going to be quite a difficult box office wave to ride and while I think Dune Part 2 can end up being a success regardless, I still think it'll take a good chunk out of its potential box office total. I guess you can always say that this year we had Oppenheimer and Barbie 
come out at the same time and that proves you can have multiple big movies releasing simultaneously. But the difference with this is that it's not just two movies benefiting off each other, it's five different movies thrown into a congested period. That's my main worry and at this current point, with all of the issues still ongoing between the studios and the actors, I wouldn't be surprised if there's yet another delay to the June Part 2 release date. I really hope that isn't the case and I guess we'll get a better idea come this December if they do indeed drop a new trailer with that new release date attached. It would really show whether Warner Brothers is confident in the new date and if in that trailer there's no date at the end of it then we know it's looking quite likely for there being yet another delay. But that was my video discussing the potential release date for the next June Part 2 trailer and my predictions for the marketing. I'm interested to see what we'll get in the next footage we'll see and while we've already seen lots in the previous two trailers released, I think there are plenty of iconic moments from the book that could be teased further. I guess we're going to have to wait and see if we get more marketing leading up to March next year because like I said, everything going on with the strikes is behind these delays and I wouldn't be surprised if there are more changes to the release date. Let's hope it gets sorted out soon so we can finally get a proper build up with the cast and crew promoting the film. But with those things in mind, are you excited to see more marketing and a new trailer for Dune Part 2 when it releases? And what particular footage or moments do you think we'll see going forward? Let me know down below in the comment section. For much more videos and news on Denis Villeneuve's Dune universe, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex and as always, make some noise.